YouTube fam. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Hurricane. Good afternoon. <laughs> we are on our second official day off. We're down here at a river in Idaho. See it ahead of us. There's a guy, I don't know if you can see him. He's over here fly fishing. And it looks like he's, it looks like the river goes down about three or four feet in height. Kind of like a sudden drop or something, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But let's talk about having to get stuff done on your days off I know. when we run the way we run. You want to share? Yeah, well, even, even um, you know, as a woman, there are certain doctors that I have to see that other people don't see. Um, and so just trying to book that. That would be men. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be polite. <laughs> but there, there's just things, especially um, at my age and stuff, and, and just, you know, health and wellness, really. That's, that's pretty much what we're looking at. Just trying to book that in and... and um, you know, first of all, you're not you're not a patient, like a regular patient. You don't necessarily live in the area, and and just trying to book appointments for, <coughs> for anything um, is just real tough, especially when you don't know when you're stopping and how long you're stopping for. But um, we're getting some of those things taken care of, and um, you know, even just something as simple as a yearly dental cleaning. Um, it's very very difficult. I don't know how many times I've had to maybe try to cancel, reschedule. Um, you know things like that but uh anyway and then the toss-up between doing that and having time like this it's it's, yes. a, it's very very hard i'm supposed um, to be sleeping but now we're in town until uh probably next wednesday um so i'm going to be up during the day just force myself to stay up rather than stay in the schedule for right now they uh i don't know if you guys knew this but in idaho and i did not know this till today because I had LASIK done back in 97, 95, somewhere in there. And my left eye is getting a little bit sloppy. Like my, my right eye is 2020 still, but my left eye is about, well, after today, it's 2070. Did you know in Idaho that as long as one of your eyes is 2020, you can pass your license test? <laughs> you can go in there and completely fail on the left eye, like in my case, which I would because you got to be 2040 to, to get the license. I could completely fail the left eye. In my right eye, would get me the, the license. I didn't. I've never heard of that. So, so apparently, this is all a one-eye bandits running around in Idaho. <laughs> we shouldn't say that. But yeah, I didn't. I didn't know that till the day they were, they were tuning me up or seeing what they can we do. We had to no me idea, up. did we? And she said, "Well, you get a license in Idaho. You just need one eye to get a license in Idaho." I'm like, "Ah." But see, we're going to South Dakota. I didn't want to get to South Dakota, and I don't want to get glasses. Number one, if I don't have to, because I haven't worn glasses since '95, and. uh but I didn't want to get to South Dakota, pay a thousand more for LASIK if I had to get it, and then have to, because you got to wait either way. Like today was the appointment. Um, they diagnosed everything, go back to meet the doc on Monday, and then uh, allegedly, if they, can, if they can do it, I'll get the surgery on Wednesday. Did you also know that there's a cutoff for LASIK? You've got to be 60 years or younger or really, really, really good shape at 61. And uh, so they think they can do it. They think they can do the left eye only and tune me back up. It was amazing though, how much it dropped just in a matter of a year. All these, you know, all these getting older things because you're like, you're 40, 43, right? I'm 43. And yep. I'm 42 on yep. YouTube. So I mean, yep. I'm starting to get older, you know, things happen, things happen. Power surging and all kinds of things. Power surging. <laughs> but I told her I, I told her we'd come down here to the to the river and hang out. There's like a was 25 mile river walk. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah about 25 miles of a green belt uh, river walk all the way around, um, and uh, it goes all the way up and down both sides, and it's it's really beautiful. So um, but it's 85 degrees already, and it, it's uh, yeah. it's a little bit warm, a little bit warm. Yeah. So, but we've got our camp chairs here. That I pitched a, a few weeks ago, and we're just sitting here and enjoying in the shade. It's nice and cool in the shade. Mm -hmm. By the way, if you want a pair of these glasses we've got on, now I, I've got some brown ones coming because uh, <clears throat> I don't like wearing the black on black. But if you like these glasses, there's an affiliate link. Uh, if you buy a pair, you get 20 bucks when you buy your first pair and spend over $50. These were 30 each. Yeah, yeah. But these, let me let me tell you, folks. I've 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 used Ray Bans. All the people in the military did when they were flying is you know that, that Tom Cruise crap. I've used all the high tech 
uh, lenses for triathlons. You use the high tech ones for biking. Uh, yeah, and I, I used uh, Maui gyms for biking. Um, in fact, you you had a pair of Maui gyms. You put these on, and these are just incredible compared, these to, lenses, compared to that. You know, these lenses are off the frickin' chain. Yeah, yeah. They are off the chain. They are they are so clear, so clear. We have a we have a guest down here. He's been trying to come hang out with. I think he knows Frankie. Um, a bird. Hold on. I think the. Let me put that up there. Yeah, he's right in the middle of the screen. Right in the middle. He's coming up. He's walking up. He'll come up. Do you know Frankie Aka Ping Pong? Ping Pong. Here he comes. There he is. If we had bread, right. he would be all over us. He's an equal opportunity duck. <laughs> What's going on, buddy? Oh, he's coming all the way up. He's, he's thinks, coming yeah, to look. You guys have bread. I'm sure you do. He's like, you have, you have bread, right? What's going on, buddy? Huh? He does know Ping Pong. What's going on? What are you doing? It's like you're supposed to have something for me. I know. We don't have anything for you, bud. We don't. Thanks for hanging out. You coming down here? No. Nope. Coming here? <laughs> I don't have anything in my hand, though. I don't have anything in my hand. But yeah. Wait, wait. <laughs> so this is this is really the it's really the first day off because yesterday was just getting accustomed to just the schedule. Yeah, yeah. Because you have to completely flip your schedule all the way around. Um, Oh. oh, peanuts. There's peanuts on the ground. There's peanuts from last time on the That's ground. That's what he's looking for. That's what he's looking That's what he's looking for. <laughs> Just want to pop in and say hello. Hope you guys are doing well. Trying to shut the world off here for about five, six, seven days. And uh, then we're going to go to South Dakota. Probably run run a couple weeks and restack some cash for the truck, just for the truck bills. And then, uh, then go to South Dakota before the end of the month, first of... Uh, well, we'll get, we'll get to South Dakota by the end of July. Yeah, we, it's uh, the, almost, yeah. Where are we in the months? So uh, the we're the 22nd, June, 23rd of June. Okay, so last week of June is next week. So, yeah, definitely. So, we'll get all that done. Just stop it and say hello. Hope you guys have a great weekend, a great uh, day today. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit a little about a little bit. Hold on. I'm tired and I do speak, to, I do speak uh, proper English. We'll speak a little bit about some of this chaos going on economically this week. Mm -hmm. We'll have time to really do some good streams, have a couple people on interviews, and talk about it. It's going to get crazy. It's going to get crazy. It's going to mm -hmm. get bad. You guys take care of yourselves. God bless.